So today, we're going to explain how to use Bounce Light. There are three features I'd like to draw your attention to. Mounting, diffusion, and filtration. Each Bounce Light unit comes with two mount pads, one small and one large. It's best to do a trial fitting with the pads to see which one works for you. Once you have decided which mount pad to use, peel off the backing from the double tape and stick the pads on the inside rear of the mount. To mount the bounce light onto the flash, push the unit up at a tilted angle toward the back of the diffuser like this. Check to see if it's well fitted and leveled. Then hold the unit in one hand with a finger placed on the neck of the mount. With the other hand, pull the rubber belt out towards yourself, wrapping it to the hook on the other side. To release the unit, reverse the process while keeping a finger on the neck of the bounce light. Because the unit is so securely fastened, you'll be able to leave it ready mounted in your bag to be pulled out at a moment's notice, ready to shoot. For those with the largest flash heads, you can mount without using the pad. You just have to be careful and make sure you have a finger on the neck of the unit. If you have a smaller flash head, like the Fuji EF42, a speed strap can be used for extra cushion. The simple aim of Bounce Light is to enable an increased level of control over your flash diffusion. There are a multitude of ways to get the most from your Bounce Light. For example, when the door is closed, the light is pushed forward only out through the front diffuser. This is an excellent mode when you don't have any ceilings or walls to bounce your flash, or for when your subject is close to the camera. When bounce light is rigged to a custom bracket and partnered with a close-up lens, it makes for an ideal macro photography diffuser. When the bounce door is open, it can be positioned precisely to control the direction and amount of light spill. This means you can cater for ceiling heights and surrounding surfaces. The door also acts as a white card to divert light forward onto the subject. And triples up as a flag when you don't want any frontal light spill. The door also can open all the way back, allowing the flash to be used in a direct position if you need full power, all without the need to remove the bounce light from the flash head. One of Bounce Light's most exceptional features is its inbuilt filter system. The filter cassette is designed for quick and easy insertion. You can pop it in and replace it with ease, giving you flexibility to change color and temperature on the go. This makes the filtration component vital for function photography. Most indoor venues are lit with tungsten bulbs, which have a color temperature of around 3000K or below. With today's camera capabilities, we can easily address this by using a high ISO and white balance settings. We can either leave the camera on auto white balance or manually set it on tungsten mode, which is around 3200K. But the problem arises when you use flash either as a main light source or as a fill-in, because the color temperature of a bare flash is around 5500K, which makes it incompatible when mixing the two. By using the color correction gels in the filter cassette, we can easily alter the flash output to around 3200K, balancing the ambient light and flash output. When it comes down to it, every photographer needs equipment they can trust in. And there has never been a diffuser that offers durability, adaptability, and ease of use the way that Bounce Light can. This is the upgrade that we deserve. <laughs>